Hey, welcome back. Today's video, I'm going to take the uh, back tires off, show you the amazing discovery I found under there. This being my new intro, I forgot my Cajun uh, Zydeco music, left it upstairs. But uh, instead of pleading for like and subscribes, I'm pleading for parts. I am looking for the seat tracks for the cab here. For some reason, they were ripped out. Uh, I know you hot rod guys pull the seats out, throw them away because you're putting in nice bucket seats or custom seats. So if you don't want your seat tracks or any other part of your interior that I could use, maybe hit me up and I'll uh, take them off your hands. It'd be terrific. Thanks for watching. And all the time I've had this truck, which is going on about nine months now. Remember I got it, it was a whole truck and now it's in pieces. I don't think I've ever taken the rear tire off once. So that's what we're doing now. That's one. All right, got the four, uh, four, six, six lugs off. There goes the wheel. Let me catch that. Go somewhere. Let's see. Wheel it straight back here. Out of the way. And how do you get these drums off? No well, turns, that's a good sign. I have no idea how to get this drum off. If I just hit it with a hammer, it'll pop. So, I've been hammering on it. It moves a little bit. I'm thinking that it must, it must be some kind of puller, like a big three jaw puller or something to grab these ridges with and pull it out. You know what, though? Maybe I could pry on it. But I can get this in here, but all it does is bend this. I don't want to bend that. I want to pry. Somehow I'm using that. I want to hook it here, hook it here, and push on that. So, I either got to build something or borrow something. Yeah, so I'm much too cheap to go out and buy a three jaw puller from Harbor Freight. So I gave this a shot. I'm putting a two by six there, popped out a little bit. I move it over to here, put a little more on it in the corner, on the side. You see a little gap here. Can't quite get anything in on that yet. That works the bottom a little. I don't want to hit that too hard because it'll snap that right off. One more right here. It's going to come. It's going to take a little time. Just a little gentle persuasion. Probably should have degreased this with the scraper. It's got all sorts of grease on it. But it's coming off. I'll show you what it looks like when I get it off. So I got it out. This is interesting to me. Might be interesting to you. A lot of grease in there. Is that to stop the brakes from squeaking? I don't know. It's grease right up there on the pad. It's an odd place for it. Maybe it's just a leaking cylinder there. That's the grease, it looks like to me, not brake fluid. And then inside, found those two springs. Who knows where they go? <laughs> I'll figure it out. But I would say these pads, these are original pads, there's just nothing left as far as braking material. So they definitely need to be replaced. So it took me about 40 minutes of uh working that drum back and forth and hammering on it and prying on it and tapping and actually two studs actually I pounded on the studs they, they popped right through but um much drier on the passenger side as you can see there's no grease um there's a castle nut there kind of looking thing there was under the grease on the other one and I thought it was really odd but it's the same thing on this side so I guess it's normal for this style of brake setup um, I didn't even look inside the 
the rotor or the drum looks pretty clean. There's still meat on the pads, but not very much. Uh, looks like about a sixteenth of an inch or three thirty seconds on that pad right there. I don't know if you can see that. It's very thin. So it's about to hit metal. This is due for a brake job on this side. And remember, so getting back to my brakes. So I want to do a brake job here. And pop the pop the drum off and. Uh, I was astounded to see a lot of grease in there and at first I thought that's why uh, that somebody put that there to, to maybe quiet the squeaking or something crazy and then I realized that the seal is probably leaking from the axle and it's all the gear oil from there leaked out into here and the other side is bone dry. I also found the spring inside is broken in half. I thought there were two, two loose springs it's just one spring broken in half looking at the other side. So, I ordered a gasket for that piece there, and I'm going to pop that off and see if I can get this axle out and change the seal. That's for another day.